But yeah guys, so this is my gaming PC and it's also where I do a lot of my editing and my video stuff. Recently I've come across this issue where it just doesn't turn on. It's, it's, the lights are on but nobody's home, right? If I turn it on, it just, you know, everything boots up but nothing actually goes anywhere. It doesn't post, doesn't do anything. I can reseat the RAM, I can do everything I want. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to start my machine using a hairdryer, which is crazy. So let's <laughs> watch this. The reason why this happens is because there's a something called dry solder joints or cold joints or even crack joints. In this massive sea of electronics and tiny little solder points, there's a tiny hair solder. It's thinner than a human hair. It's, it's, a, it's a crack and it can often happen from oxidization. It can happen from <clears throat> the constant contracting and reduction of the solder over time by heat, the constant heating and cooling. What happens is there is some, there was one tiny component on that motherboard somewhere that when it gets cold, the solder contracts and it shrinks and it doesn't make contact properly. The moment I heat it up and restart the computer, it makes contact for a brief second and starts the machine. This has been happening for a very long time. I should probably get a new motherboard at this point or I should probably just get a whole new PC. But um, if you're like me and uh, I like to fix, the, fix things and I don't really want to spend money on a new motherboard right now, then what you can do is for a lot of electronics, if you find that they just suddenly stop working randomly, 90% of the time it's a dry solder joint or it's moisture. So before you just toss it in the bin and you give up, Use a hairdryer or a heat gun to just gently heat that, the, the, that electronic section. Now I must warn you, don't do it too close. If you do this too close, you do run the risk of actually melting some of your components or desoldering some of the components and that's something you do not want to do. For the gist of most electronics, uh, a hairdryer should be fine uh, at maximum settings. It fixes most of the time. I've fixed TVs, I've fixed uh, electric pianos, I've fixed so many things like this. Give it a try before you want to throw it in the bin because dry solder joints and crack joints are actually the, the biggest cause of just a random failure of electronics. Anyways, I hope this little tidbit helped you. It's so stupid, but uh, I know it could save a lot of people and a lot of trouble. Cheers for now. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.